everyone, this is Granny Josie. Welcome to my channel. Today I had promised um, a few days ago that I would make a video on my Victorian ornaments. Now, later on when I do set my tree, I will show a picture of my Christmas tree. Some of these ornaments I bought, but I did make a lot of them. And I will show you this is an angel that I made quite a few years ago. And I won't show you all of them, it will take too much time. And this is actually an egg, plastic egg that I bought at a craft store. I put a pitcher inside with lace and flowers. And there's two different ones. This one has an angel inside. And I also made some with the blue. I really had a ball making these. Um, a friend of mine, uh, we, this was like 15 years ago, we decided for 12 months we would make an ornament. So we would make two and then we would exchange. And so I had then 12 for the year also. I made a lot more in between. This is a little clothes hanger that I bought at the uh, craft store and then I decorated it. It was just plain, it had nothing on it when I bought it and I decorated it. Hope you can see that. And this is a really easy idea. These are actually just spools of thread. You can see I decorated them. That was fun. And you, you know, you can all, at least you used to be able to buy these empty spools at a craft store. I'm not sure if they still have them, but if you sew, you will have maybe larger ones, but um, it will work. Also made these, whoops. And those are pretty easy. Now the angel took a lot more time naturally. Okay, now these are some of the ones that I purchased. A little old-fashioned buggy. I'm sure uh, the older people watching will know what I'm talking about. And here is another one. I just love this. Isn't that cute? And a lot of these I bought at the end of the season. You know, so they were a lot less expensive. And here's an old-fashioned purse. I always said I think I was born uh, too late. I love the Victorian uh, era. And here, now these would be really easy to make. They're just little, like little pillows. And you can decorate them. I might even try doing that if I have enough time. I do a lot of sewing for Christmas, so. And here is another one. Here is a chair decorated and have a lot of these. I love my Victorian tree. I probably have set this type of tree for the last 15, 20 years. And here is a little doll. And this one would be pretty easy to make too. Just get a styrofoam um, bell and you can embellish it. I think uh, that would be good. And here is another Victorian lady. I love my tree. Um, although this year I'm actually gonna add a smaller tree that's gonna be the little red truck. And here is like an old fashioned purse. And that's another one that would not be difficult to make. And a fairy, little fairies. I have a variety on my tree. Plus, um, besides all my, <coughs> excuse me, Victorian ornaments, I put this type of thing throughout the tree. I have pink birds and green birds and, and a lot of flowers. On top, I put a butterfly. 
I used to, I made a beautiful big uh, angel for the top of my tree and on one of my moves, the movers um, lost about 10 of my boxes, so I lost some of my ornaments. And I love this. I did not make this. A friend of mine years ago sent it to me. Isn't that gorgeous? A Victorian uh, Christmas sock. So I always put that on one wall. I don't have a fireplace in my apartment. Uh, let's see, I think I didn't get all my ornaments out because I knew it would take too long. But here's another one. Like I said, after I get my tree up, I have had a request. A few people would like to see it. So if you would like to see it, just leave me a comment. And here's another one. I believe in filling my tree. I have a five foot tree since I do live in a small apartment, but I fill all the sides and uh, don't like to leave any empty spots. Anyway, I hope you like this. And if you want to see more uh, of this type of thing, let me know. I will, after I get my tree decorated, I will uh, do a video on it. And tomorrow I'm planning on doing the second in my series of the famous um, jewelry designers. I have at least three or four that more that I've done a research on. And uh, I wish I had jewelry pieces to show you of the jewelry that they design. I do have a pair of earrings from one of the designers. So I will show you that. And hope you like this video, and if you do, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I certainly would appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And uh, thank you very much. Bye!